Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to deposit and withdraw on Bitrix. Alright, so let's get started. Once you have logged in, you'll go ahead and uh, land on the main page of Bitrix where you see all the different market values and whatnot. Go ahead and go to the top right menu and click on Wallets. Alright, and you're going to go ahead and see all the different cryptocurrencies. Um, and of course, you're going to see your available balance in that coin, in that altcoin, if you have any. Any pending deposits for that coin that you may have. Any reserved amounts. The reserved amounts are essentially any amount that you um, used for a transaction or for an exchange. Um, the total amount that you have in that coin and its estimated value in Bitcoin. And why in Bitcoin? Um, and this is because this is the most common altcoin um, in the market and it's the most convenient way to do all your trades. So 99% of market trades are done with Bitcoin just because you have a wider variety of altcoins that you can go ahead and purchase with Bitcoin. So most uh, most of the transactions and, um, and market comparisons are going to be uh, in comparison to Bitcoin, and you'll see that throughout your experience on Bitrix. So let's go ahead and uh, show you guys how to deposit. So if you were to deposit into Bitrix, let's say that I want to go ahead and deposit Bitcoin into my Bitrix account. I would go ahead and highlight, okay, you can highlight the different coins just by moving the cursor over it. Highlight Bitcoin and click on the plus symbol. And when I click on the plus symbol, you'll go ahead and see that Bitrix generates a temporary address for me to deposit funds or Bitcoin into. So on my on my Bitcoin wallet, I would go ahead and open up my blockchain and either type in or copy and paste this address, or I can simply scan it. And once I scan that, it'll go ahead and send the, the funds over and we are all set to go. Um, when you deposit, it's not going to obviously be so instant, so you'll see it here pending on the pending deposits. Uh, I actually made one a couple of minutes ago, and that's why it's pending, just for the sake of this video to show you guys. Okay, so to withdraw, you go ahead and do the same thing. You, you highlight the coin that you want to withdraw, and you click on the minus button. And Bitrix will go ahead and ask you the address that you want to go ahead and withdraw to. So in this case, it would be in my blockchain address. The quantity of Bitcoin that I want to go ahead and withdraw. Uh, then Bitrix will go ahead and generate the transaction fee, which is very small. And on the withdrawal amount, it'll go ahead and generate everything, the total amount uh, for this withdrawal. Then I go ahead and just click on withdraw and we are good to go. Um, now that being said, when you deposit and you withdraw, you'll go ahead and you can actually scroll down here and see all of the different options that you have. Um, and so you, you have your pending withdrawals, your withdrawal history, your pending deposits and deposit history. And you'll see that the deposit that I made into Bitrix, it was about 15 minutes ago now, it's still pending and it's going over some confirmations or verifications with Bitrix, uh, which you see here are one out of two. So as soon as it goes uh, through that second confirmation, it's going to go ahead and be ready to use and inside my Bitrix account and I'll be able to see it here in available balance. And, uh, you know, with pending withdrawals, if you if you went ahead and you withdrew an amount of, uh, of cryptocurrency, whichever coin it is, you'll go ahead and you'll see it here. And let's say you withdrew something and it hasn't reached your wallet yet. You know, at least you have the security to go ahead and log on to Bitrix and be like, oh, hey, well, it's still pending on Bitrix. It's, you know, that's why it hasn't reached my wallet. Um, so that's a really neat feature that Bitrix has. Um, then on the history, you'll go ahead and be able to see obviously everything. And even though this deposit is pending, you can already see it in the history, which is a really nice thing that Bitrix has. 
So that being said, um, keep in mind that sometimes deposits can take a couple of hours, um, maybe even days. It typically does not happen, so you know, don't worry. It's not like this is the only platform that that happens to. It can happen anywhere with cryptocurrency. Um, but just keep in mind that it can take a couple of days. And if that does happen, don't freak out. It's super normal. Um, most, most transactions do take anywhere from a couple of minutes to an hour to actually fulfill. Um, so that's the norm. And keep that in mind so you don't freak out. But it can happen. So just keep that in mind. Now, the last feature that I want to go over on Bittrex is the account balance up here at the top. And something really cool that they do is that they actually um, show you all of your entire estimated value of all of your accounts in Bitcoin, obviously the most popular cryptocurrency or altcoin, and in US dollar. Um, and this is an estimated value, of course, because the market's always fluctuating and changing, but you do have that here. So if you want to go ahead and kind of compare uh, any profit you've made and whatnot, you have that instant kind of estimated value to go off of. And they also have to hide zero balances. And what this option does, it hides any coins that I don't own, right? So zero balance coins. I have zero balances for just about all of these because this is a test account. Um, and so if I go ahead and click that, it's only going to show me uh, the coins that I have available balances for. So even that Bitcoin that I have that pending deposit for, it's still not going to show it because it's a zero available balance. So it's going to show only the coins that I have available balances for. Uh, but that's the neat things about Bitrix. I hope this video was helpful. And if you did like it, go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe to the Golden Island Club. On the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to trade on Bitrix. Thanks, and hope you have a good one.